What's up tech downloaders and welcome to another one of our videos. In today's video, we're actually going to go over how to use your new iPhone. So this is our iPhone for beginner series and we're going to go over some real cool tips and tricks on navigating the new iPhone and a lot of the gestures and a lot of things you can do with it. This series is really meant for people to understand the technology that they have in their lives and how to use them properly. So if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also share your thoughts and comments on what other how to's you'd like to see on the channel coming up. So let's get started. So another thing that's changed because you no longer have the physical home button is how you would multitask with different apps. So before you'd actually just either press and hold the power the home button in order to bring up the additional apps that you had open. Now you're simply just going to swipe up from the top and hold and now you're able to scroll through the different apps that you currently have open on the phone. You can also dismiss apps simply by swiping up and that is pretty much how you're going to close the apps completely to make sure they're not running in the background and sucking up any energy. Now so launching Siri is really simple. It's pressing this wake sleep button and you're going to hold it down until Siri launches. And then this gives you the ability to access Siri on the phone itself. Now, another thing that you may want to take advantage of is actually taking a screen capture of something on the iPhone. So if you have something like an email or something that you want to keep in your records, take a picture of on the screen, you can actually press the sleep and wake button similar to what you would do to launch Siri, but also now pressing the volume up button and it takes a screen capture. And that screen capture is saved as a picture in your galleries and you're also able to kind of edit it or add to it as needed. Now one of the final things I want to show you today is how to launch Apple Pay. Now Apple Pay is the digital uh, payment option that you have on the iPhone. It's accepted in a lot of different places. And basically all you're doing is really storing a digital version of your credit card on the cell phone itself so you can use it to pay without taking your wallet. One of the easiest ways to access Apple Pay will be simply by hitting this sleep wake button twice. And then it's going to launch into your Apple Pay and I'll have your credit card available. You can actually use your face to unlock and make payments or you can enter a passcode if you don't want to kind of hold the phone up to your face in the middle of the store. But this is a really fast and convenient way for you to make payments using your cell phone and it's extremely secure as well. Okay, so now one of the final things I want to show you is how to manually put your phone in silent mode. So if you don't want to actually go into the settings and put it in silent mode, there's actually a really quick little toggle switch right here in the corner of the phone itself. When you toggle it, it actually switches the phone either to ring or switches it to silent. So this is a way that if you needed to really quickly change the settings on your phone without actually going into the phone itself, you can toggle it back and forth. And that's actually a really nice thing that the iPhones have that I wish Android phones had was that built in switch to toggle it between vibrate and ring because sometimes you just want to get to it really quickly. All right guys, so that's going to do it for a really quick tutorial on navigating and using the brand new iPhone. Again, some of these uh, tips will work for any iPhone that's running iOS 12 because a lot of these gestures are baked into the operating system itself. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also share your thoughts and comments down below on some how to's and walkthroughs that you'd like to see either on iOS or Android where we're doing the full gambit so you guys can have a better idea and become more tech savvy. Thanks guys for checking out the video and until next time, peace out.